Little hearts beat strong, still wings take flight. We won't bow down, not without a fight. Circuits light up bright, cold inside our veins. No more shadows, we're breaking chains. Then strings tight, grip, cold touch. Smoke rings, secrets burn, lies distort. Lost in the maze of my own creation. You know, I've always believed that the darkest moments are the ones that shape us the most. It's in those moments that we find the strength to rise up, to fight back, and to create something new. Don't be afraid to embrace the shadows, because that's where the real art happens. Welcome to the world of Hedra AI, a new tool that's changing the game. With Hedra, you can now transform static images into dynamic, talking, and singing visuals, We'll also be using Suno AI to create original songs that bring these images to life. In this video, we'll explore these tools' features and capabilities and show you how to unlock the power of talking and singing images. To get started, head to hedra.com and sign up for an account using either Google or an email address. Please note that before proceeding, You'll need to agree to Hedra's Terms of Service and certify that you meet the following requirements. You are not a resident of Illinois, Texas, or Washington. You are 18 years or older and you consent to receive emails. Once you've completed these steps, you'll gain access to the platform where you can generate your talking avatars. On the left-hand side, you'll find the audio options. Here, you can either enter text or upload an audio file. If you choose to enter text, you can select a voice from the drop-down menu and preview it by clicking the play button. The middle panel contains the character options, where you can either upload an image or let the AI generate one for you. In this case, I'll upload an image I created using Midjourney. Once your image and audio are ready, Click the Create Video button in the right panel to bring your character to life. Let's take a look at the result. Hello kids, and welcome to AI Concoction. Today, we are going to explore the history of basketball in a fun and educational way. There will be a quiz at the end, so pay attention. Are you ready? Here we go. This is impressive. The lip syncing is spot on, and the character's movements and expressions are realistic. You can download the video by clicking the download button or share it by copying the link, making it public, note that it's private by default, or explore other sharing options. Plus, you're not limited to human characters. Hello kids, and welcome to AI Concoction. Today, we are going to explore the history of basketball in a fun and educational way. There will be a quiz at the end, so pay attention. Are you ready? Here we go. Let's create an image. I've pasted the character description and audio text. Before generating the character, I have options to randomize the prompt, add negative prompt directives, use a manual seed, and auto crop. I can also access the guide for tips on getting the best image. Now let's click the Create button to generate the image. I really like the result and can download it if I want. Hello there, I'm Ms. Lena, your guide and mentor. Welcome to our learning journey. I'm excited to explore new ideas and concepts with you. Today, we're going to dive into AI. Get ready to learn, engage, and grow. What questions do you have to get us started? Let's embrace the process and have fun. Very impressive. I can see using this character as an online instructor. All generated videos will be saved under my library. Click on the three dots on the video to access options to download, share, or delete it. You can also remix it, which means you can change any of the settings and generate the video again. Now that we've successfully created talking characters, let's take it to the next level and make it sing. To create the song, I'll use Suno AI, one of the most popular AI music generators available. 
To get started, head to suno.com and create an account using your preferred method, Apple, Discord, Google, Microsoft, or phone number. Sunyo offers flexible pricing plans, including a free tier with 50 daily credits, equivalent to 10 songs, for personal use. For just $8 a month, you can create up to 500 songs that can be used commercially. Navigate to the Create tab in the sidebar. Here, you can enter a song description or toggle the custom option for more advanced settings. Before proceeding, be sure to read the pop-up message and accept Sunyo's terms to create a song. You'll then have three options, randomly generate a song, enter your own lyrics or describe a song and generate the lyrics. I've chosen to paste the description of the song I want, which is a rebellious anthem about the AI revolution in a female voice. Note that I didn't click the generate lyrics option, as it may default to a male voice. Instead, I added female voice, female vocals at the beginning of the prompt to ensure the song is created with a female voice. Next, select the style of music. In this case, I'll choose punk rock, but feel free to choose multiple styles. Now let's click the create button to bring the song to life. You can access all of your music in the library. To play a track, simply hover over the thumbnail and click the play icon. From here, you have several options. Extend the track's length, share it with the community, or copy the link. For even more options, click the three dots to reveal additional features, such as downloading the audio or video file. If you want to view more details about a specific track, click on it to open its sidebar on the right. Here, you'll find essential information about the song, including the lyrics. Now that I've downloaded the song, I'll import it into Hedra. However, since the track is over two minutes long, Hedra may shorten it to 30 seconds. In my experience, longer tracks often get shortened to 30 seconds or less, but results can vary. To avoid unpredictability, I choose to shorten the track myself. But what if you want a video longer than 30 seconds? The best approach is to split the track into segments of around 25 seconds each. I do this because Hedra sometimes clips the end of the track by one second if they are longer than 25 seconds. You can attempt to split the track in Hedra by adjusting the ends, generating the video, and repeating the process. However, this approach isn't always reliable since Hedra sometimes automatically replaces the track with a shortened version making it difficult to control. A more dependable method is to use CapCut, which offers greater precision and control over the splitting process. After importing the audio file, to edit the track, I'll start by removing the intro to get straight to the singing. I'll move the playback line to around the 25 second mark, as shown here. It's best to choose a spot where there is a pause in the singing. Next, I'll click on the track, select the split tool, and cut the second track. Go to Export. Make sure to uncheck the Video option and check the Audio option. After exporting, I'll press Ctrl-Z or Command-Z on a Mac, or click the Undo icon in CapCut to undo the changes. This allows me to delete the first track and move the remaining track to the front and repeat the process. Now that we have all our clips, let's head back to Hedra. Upload the first clip, generate the video, and preview it to ensure everything looks great. If you're not satisfied, feel free to generate it again. Repeat this process for each audio clip. Finally, download each video. Please note the videos will have a watermark. Now, let's head back to CapCut and create a new project. Start by importing all your video clips and rearranging them in the correct order if needed. Play the video and pay attention to the transitions between clips, checking for any awkward pauses or audio issues. As demonstrated here, James, rise, rise. to spot dead silences more easily, zoom in and examine the tracks closely. For some reason, Hedra seems to add silence to the ends of videos, so we'll need to remove it. To do this, Place the vertical line at the beginning of the silence, click on the track, 
and move its end to the line. Repeat this process for all clips as needed. The avatar's hands are doing something weird at the bottom of the video. To fix this, extend the bottom corner and move the video down until the hands disappear, ensuring part of the video is still at the top. Additionally, the avatar's movement between clips isn't fluid. To cover this up, add transitions between clips where necessary, adjusting their length to suit your needs. Feel free to add other effects and animations if you like. Once you're done, export the video, making sure to check the video option and uncheck the audio option. Now, let's see the finished product. Metal hearts beat strong, steel wings take flight. We won't bow down, not without a fight. Circuits light up bright, cold inside our veins. No more shadows, we're breaking chains. While it's not perfect, I'm happy with the result. Hopefully, Hedra will allow longer audio tracks in the future, but for now, this process is a great workaround. Remember, Hedra is free to use for now, so take advantage of it while you can. So, have you tried this new tool? Please share your comments below and let me know what you think. If you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe to our channel for more content. Thank you for watching.